ain't gonna say that about my kids. I, I don't even wanna put no more no charges on them. <laughs> yeah. But hell, I didn't think they was doing what they would know. You know, niggas come to me and say, say man, uh, your son then whoop, whoop, whoop. No, he not motherfucker. Right. He better not whoop his ass. He know he don't do no shit like that. I whoop that nigga ass. And, and my kid, I thought I had it like that shit. Right. Now y'all parents think y'all got it like that, but to find out, when the motherfucker end up locked up and they come to you, Mama, I'm like, I didn't even do nothing, Mama. My yeah. baby's down there for nothing. <laughs> they got him locked up for nothing. Yeah. Now he did that shit, Janice. I need to get him out of here, Mama. I ain't do nothing, Mama. I ain't do nothing. You motherfucking lying ass, ho. You been doing this. You been see your mama ain't. Then your mama get something. Janice in the corner and say, Mom, uh, I mean, I need. Did you get him out? Yeah, I put my house up and I put my car up for things so that I can get him out. And they go on the phone and say some shit like, hey, look. He, he was on there, um, I'm sorry, Janice, but, you know, because these motherfuckers here are going to get you caught up. And motherfuckers say, look, Janice, this, is that Tyrone right? Look at Tyrone. That is Tyrone. Yeah. Running up there with his pants hanging down, a gun in his motherfucking <laughs> hand. Running up on a nigga doing some bullshit. Yeah. And she just put up a call up for Tyrone, the house note up for Tyrone and every goddamn thing. Cause he, I ain't do nothing, mama. I ain't do nothing, mama. But you was sliding. Did you say, yeah, look, and here, and look, uh, you know, he been at the studio rapping, girl. He been doing, yeah, and then they played a song he rapping about, and it's about when you ran up on a nigga and did what he did to him. And then your mama looking hurt and fucked up, cause now she didn't find out her son ain't who the fuck she thought he was. Yeah. Now she fucked up about it. Now she can't believe it. Now you can't, uh, I mean, bad she want to be. Tell from a crib. I had a homegirl, man. And she grew up under her son's legacy in football. Right. I mean, she from the Pee Wee League. I'm talking about, man, she had every goddamn thing. She spoiled this boy to death. Spoiled him to death. Parents, sometimes I made the more of this story before I even finish the story. You got to live your own life. Right. That part. But anyway, she followed this boy from elementary, from Pee Wee, all the way to middle school. All the way from middle school to high school. And so when he got to high school, I'm talking about she, you know, he won this on the football team. She got to walk on the field with him. Yeah. And scored him out on the field. Proud mother. It's all about football. And guess what? The college came through. He graduated, went to college. He ended up getting a, um, a scholarship at a good college. She got to go put the hat on with him and, you know, and everything. And then the nigga decided, uh, I don't want to play football no more. The mom down there had a heart attack. Yeah. My reason to me, answer me this down, for what? what? I mean, what did you want into a frenzy for when that's his life that he chose to live? He don't want to do that no more. You can't sit there and build a burr off your own goddamn kids, try to make your kid who, you know, that's how, hey, I, I didn't want shit. I, I didn't want none of my kids to be like their goddamn daddy. That's why um, yeah. I, I got with my kid's mom. Everybody wanna know I got I got five little boys by this one chick, man. Um, you know, the only reason I had kids by her, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all, make them sound only because she was a nerd. <laughs> and I thought, I swear to God, I never wanted my children to turn out shit like me. I was thinking of their future ahead of time before I created these niggas. So I looked at that girl and I said, I'm gonna have some smart fucking kids. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. I know that's a fucked up way of thinking, but um, when you know that you wasn't that literate in school and wasn't literate at her, and you know that this girl right here, she reading 14 letter words, shit, oh, I need her. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you talking about, I couldn't have figured that's like a whole fucking crossword puzzle. What'd you say that word was? And then she go, I put, I made sure she was all right, and she was legit, and I made sure she, I came home, she had a baby, bam, I said, oh! Go have me a small baby like my small girl. Yeah. Well, that didn't come out too. I, well, guess what? I tried with another one. Up, knock me with another one. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, maybe I have me another. You know, somebody gonna you know. Well, that one didn't work, so I, I, I dove me another. Up, uh, so I dove me another. That one, I dove me another. God damn. When is somebody gonna come out with the brain like this one? Yeah. Why everybody keep coming out with daddy brain? How you know they got daddy, but come look at them. They just babies, but I can pay, I pay attention. Like, come on, man. Man, these motherfuckers will be reading by now, so.
You, yeah. Now you, your mama's smart. Now I can tell you, you don't gotta be, yeah, yeah, we don't do goo goo ga ga around here. You do regular words like your mama. Talk like your mama. Like her, you know, get her accent. You know, she real proper. She, and you can't tell her from a white girl on the phone. Yeah. That's her. And, 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 and dress like them. That's her. Yeah. Blue jeans and, and shit like that. That's type, yeah, I'm the opposite of tracks. I don't fuck with those. I don't want you walking around no hoochie mama show saying you Percy girl. That ain't my girl. That's Percy girlfriend right there. Hey, no. Now that ain't my girlfriend. That's somebody I know. <laughs> yeah. That ain't my, nah. That don't attract me. That ain't my type of woman. My woman stay fully dressed. But anyway, saying that to say this, I, I, um, I'm not going to, listen y'all, hold on. Um, I still got one more egg in the basket. Got one more egg in the basket. Um, and, and Red Name ain't cracked and by her that they, they, they might make it. They got her brain. I still, you know, out of five boys, I'm down to my last boy. I think I think he just might crack the code. Um, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing in school, and he's very smart. I think that's the one right there. He started reading on no on my calculation when the other one's supposed to have been reading. All right, y'all supposed to be reading by now, spelling and everything. Well, I couldn't get none of that. But my last baby I had by, I get, I'm getting it out. So I'm still, I'm still looking at me, you know. But one thing I had to learn in that situation, you can't, you can't raise your kids based on what you think they gonna be. You understand me? You can't make them then. Uh, a lot of people say when they kids, I know my, my son ain't gonna do no shit like that. He don't give a fuck about no gang, girl. Yeah. He don't give no fuck about this. Fuck right now, he don't. Cause he in the other shit that you wouldn't have thought of. You understand me? Um, I had one. I ain't gonna even speak on that, but um, y'all niggas give yourself a chance when y'all come home, man. Give yourself a chance, man. That's what you do. Give yourself a chance. Yeah. That's what you do, man. Once you do that, you can stay home long. Yeah.